What is the direct drive racing wheel? Why is it at the top of most sim racers' wish lists? Let's take a look. A direct drive wheel is a sim racing wheel where the steering wheel is directly driven by a force feedback motor. Now, consumer racing wheels have a middleman element for the racing wheel, be it either a gear drive or a belt drive system. It works almost like a transmission where the gears allow it to bring more force. However, there are compromises with a gear or belt drive system, namely loss in fidelity and in speed. A direct drive wheel is possibly less smooth, but it is more precise, quicker, and a hell of a lot stronger. As mentioned before, a steering wheel is mounted directly onto a direct drive wheels servo motor in a direct drive system. You have this immense amount of force being connected directly to the wheel and that is sent directly through your arms. With a consumer wheel, the force is directed from the motor to a gear or belt drive system, then to the steering shaft, then to the wheel. With a direct drive system, it cuts out the middleman of the gear or belt drive system, and it makes the shaft of the motor the drive shaft. So it really does give you that unparalleled force and speed and precision. One of the largest benefits of a direct drive wheel is the sheer amount of torque that can be generated. A Fanatic Club Sport Wheel V2 generates about six and a half Newton meters of torque. On the other hand, a direct drive wheel such as Leo Bonnar's Sim Steering 2 wheel with the 54 motor generates about 26 newton meters of torque that is about four and a half times the amount of force of a fanatic wheel that is staggering now one of the common misconceptions i've heard is that you never need a wheel with that much torque you don't need all that strength well one of the things that needs to be considered is torque is not a one-to-one -one definition for strength torque is twisting force. So that force is actually relative to the speed of the wheel. So the more torque, the quicker the wheel could be. And that is one of the reasons that a direct drive wheel is one of the quickest wheels out there. And that allows you to be able to catch slides quicker, be able to have that element where you're able to handle the car that much better, know what the car is doing. It's almost similar to driving with a low latency monitor. You're almost cheating in a sense where you're able to have an idea of what the car is doing ahead of time than what you would have with another wheel. One of the main drawbacks of a direct drive wheel is that you are going to need a very strong cockpit to mount it. A direct drive wheel has a lot of torque, a lot of force, so a lot of lower down consumer or even the DIY rigs might not be able to handle it. I know for a fact that my old Ghetto Blaster rig would not be able to handle the forces of a direct drive wheel. And honestly, I would not want that crumbling on my lap. So that is one thing to consider. Another thing to consider is that the electrics are in its own standalone box. So you're going to have to find a way, a place to put that too. As of right now, there are more ways than ever to have your own direct drive wheel, and you can even get them at a relatively affordable price. Looking at the Leo Bonnar Sim Steering 2 system, this is the most advanced system on the market, and you're going to really pay for that for a price tag that is near four grand once you factor in the wheel base and a rim looking at sim experience accuforce you have another custom built system hovering at about half the price and that is a decent solution as well however one thing that is emerging as well is the open sim wheel where you're able to get your own motor get a custom built electric system 
and be able to use that, use the circuits for a sim wheel and have that as your own direct drive steering wheel that you've built yourself. So that is another popular solution. And you can even do that for about $900, depending on where you live. If you have any more questions about direct drive or anything else, feel free to shoot me an email at william.simracingpaddock.com or go to our forums at simracingpaddock.com and drop us a line.